Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from snowy Cleveland, Ohio. You know, when it's cold out, snowing, there's nothing better to do than sit at home and drink a beer. So today what I have for you is another one of my basement finds. Uh, it's another KBS Kentucky Breakfast Stout from Founders. And this one is the Maple Mackinac Fudge. Now if you look at this and you aren't familiar with the area, it's spelled M-A-C-K-I-N-A-C. -A, -A, a lot of people want to pronounce it Mackinac, but I'm pretty sure it's Mackinac. And if I mispronounce it, I'm not from Michigan, so oh well. Now this beer is a uh, part of the Barrel Age series. This particular one is the 2020 release. So it's been sitting in my basement for almost four years now, aging, and hopefully it's mellowed it out a little bit because it is 11% alcohol. Uh, Founders makes some great, great beers. They've been around for a long time. I'm lucky that uh, they're just across the border in Michigan so we see their beers all the time here in Cleveland. And I've been to the Founders Brewery multiple times. There's a concert venue called The Intersection that's basically in the back alley of Founders, more or less. I think it's actually a block away, but it's so close that that's the best place for me to go to eat lunch. I also did a long weekend up at Grand Rapids one time. Just went hitting breweries, all the breweries I could hit and three or four days. There's so many breweries up in Grand Rapids. It's definitely worth a long weekend trip to go up there if you like breweries. There's some really nice breweries up there. But on to the beer. There's a little blurb I wanted to read on Untapped, and then we'll talk a little bit about the bottle. Michigan didn't invent old-fashioned fudge, but it was perfected here. We pay tribute to this time-honored tradition with KBS Maple Mackinac Fudge. By amplifying the rich chocolate notes of KBS using Mackinac fudge coffee, then adding maple syrup and aging it in oak bourbon barrels, we've created a bold new take on our barrel aged classic, one that could only have originated in Michigan. Pretty cool how my uh, tablet just appeared in the video, right? So on the bottle, it says Imperial Stout with Mackinac fudge coffee, maple syrup, and chocolate aged in dark. Oh, I'm sorry, oak barrel, geez, I can't read, oak bourbon barrels. You know, on the label here, it says maple Mackinac fudge, and I expected it to be made with actual fudge. I didn't realize until just now it's made with fudge coffee, so that's a little different. Uh, other than that, like I said, bottled on September 24th, 2020, 11% alcohol, and as I said, this is the 2020 release. I've talked enough about it. Let's open her up. On Untapped, it gets a 4.37 with 25,000 check-ins. On Beer Advocate, it gets a 99 world-class with 935 check-ins. I'm using my either winters or, or, or summer or Columbus or Cleveland Beer Fest goblet. You go to enough of these, you get the same ones. Either way, it works. Now that has a nice tan head. It's kind of fizzy like cola, but not quite, not dissipating quite as quick as no, as cola does. But it's still dissipated relatively quickly. As far as color, obviously a 40 plus. I mean, that's dark as night. Smell. That actually smells like fudge. That straight up smells like fudge, like real fudge. When you go to a, a store that just specializes in fudge and, and you walk in and you get that smell in the store or you get a box of nice fudge and open the box and you get that, that smell, that's what this smells like. There's like really, really nice smell, fudge. Chocolate fudge. I think I've talked enough about fudge. Let's take a sip. Cheers, everybody. Ah, 
I don't want to say it again, but that is liquid fudge. I mean, that's just, I mean, it tastes like liquid fudge. I don't get any coffee out of it. I'm not getting the maple syrup. Uh, definitely, it's, it's definitely chocolate. Maybe some of those flavors have been lost in the aging process. Like I said, this beer is almost, well, it's three and three years and four months old, almost three years and three months old. But this is, this is definitely a, a, a outstanding beer. Gets two big horns up for me. I mean, this is, this is incredible. This is a really, really good beer. Definitely deserves those at 99 world class. And for 11%, you don't even notice the booze. There's no burn. There's no booziness. Nothing. This is just a solid chocolate beer. This is dangerous. I don't know if when it originally came out, if, if the booze was, was present and noticeable. But you could drink a few of these and get yourself in trouble. This is a really good beer. And I hope you think I have a really good video here. If you do... Give me that subscribe. Give me that like. Let me know down below in the comments. Have you had one of these beers? Do you see the Kentucky Breakfast Stout anywhere? What about the Canadian Breakfast Stout? That's the one that's hard to find, the CVS. And as always, embrace the adventure.